I'm maybe I'm in the minority, but like I pretty much love every song in this game. Uh, it's not hard to not love uh, <laughs> every song, to be honest. They're, they're 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 all pretty good, right? Like they're they're Japanese rock songs. Oh yeah. You, you can really. I think it's the only game that actually like I can put on a playlist and be like. Yeah, I can jam out to this during like a workout oh, or something. I'm like just that. gonna say, Guilty Gear is the perfect workout mix series. Whether also it's Strive, really inspiring Edgerd. too. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You feel like an anime protagonist listening to the, listening to these songs. All right, here we go. All right, so like you were saying, very interested to see what adjustments both players have made. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blame the beasts, heaven, or hell. Oh, not letting the intros rock this time. Going right into the bloodshed. Great start, start from Marvello, forcing Hitachi in the corner. It's a clean combo right there, but Hitachi immediately bursts out. Okay, there goes Alpha Blade trying to catch an anti-air there, but not going to be able to. Oh, nice blue RC there from Marvello. Hitachi not quite able to catch it in time, oh, but there's... The oh, there's some big damage there. Now that's the glass in the glass cannon. <laughs> Marvello dash blocking just a little bit, has to faultless defense to avoid the chip damage. There goes the counter hit though for Marvello. Red RC to keep it safe. Alpha Blade once again to start up the cross up. Great block into the gold RC from Rokashi though. Oh, Ooh, that was risky. That was so risky. But there goes the blood rage meter activated. Uh oh, uh oh. There you have it. One snuggle is right in that range. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be a fun time. You're just as much as a glass cannon because of all the health you're leaving. And Chip is one of those characters that even as far away as he was, fast enough to be able to capitalize on that. Okay, crossing up Otashi right there. Gets the overdrive going. Marvella wanting to lay that damage on as quickly as possible. Has to be just a tiny bit careful. Otashi does have first activated. And does have 50% meter as well. Oh, nice. Using the blue RC to actually catch the backdash from Marvello. There goes the blood sucking universe. Oh! oh, catches the uppercut. Marvello just a little too greedy in the, or maybe perhaps a little too desperate in the corner there. That's quite a, that's 50% level. That's 50%. The classic Nago round start. <laughs> Using the blue RC to drift upwards and actually try to catch with the jump uh, D, not going to be able to, but oh, does catch it and blocks the first into wow, the Wow, into the dust. dust? Are you serious? Yes. Oh, Tashi, my goodness. So good. That was quite... We don't really see a lot of charge dust, and that's and we like don't, he's no. just shaking his head. He's like, "Yeah, I know. I got this. I did it. Good. I was there. <laughs> we were all there. Thinking about that nap. <laughs> <laughs> okay, doesn't doesn't quite get the full fifty percent, but still a lot of damage from the round start there. I think that was on purpose, right? Like Marvello has uh, burst. Doesn't want to extend too much. Exactly. Re better to just keep Marvello in the corner and then continue this game plan of blood sucking universe, uh, full screen, especially once we have uh, the full uh, meter of uh, blood rage. But Mar Marvello. Showing a lot of respect to Otashi right now, but still gets tagged. There goes the burst from Marvello. That is a little bit of a hero burst, but I see it. I sense it. Especially look at that blood rage meter go. There you go. Oh. And then and a Otashi. burst right back from Otashi. Also using the burst, too, yeah. Oh, oh there goes the counter yep. hit! I was just about to say, both characters very low on life. One hit would have done it from either side, and it went to Marvello that time. You know, it's interesting, too, as we see like players like Marvello, and, and you actually, when you talk to him, right, he mentions about the confidence in your decision-making, the composure, and that right there is where most people will say, well, why did you use that hero burst there? I mean, it worked, right? Mm -hmm, it, it turned out. And then on top of that, Hotashi doesn't have a burst either. Mm -hmm. So they're both building it back up. But this is going to be quite a bit of damage, though. Has to be tight. Very careful. Oh, and the OTG. But yeah, like you were saying, especially when you're playing a character like Chip, you have to have that confidence in your decision. You can't second guess yourself. 
very nice walk there from Marvello. Good by he to actually counter poke. And the mix-ups are having actually Ooh. got to climb on the wall and open up Hotashi, forcing Hotashi to use the first. Oh, There's that no. back throw. A nice neutral jump into the air dash to get out of the corner for Marvello. And there goes the TK and beautiful stuff there from Marvello. Tying it up 1-1 right now. Hotashi been doing a great job blocking oh, those yeah. Beyblades on the other side. It's a, it's a bit tough uh, to be trying to avoid those cross-ups uh, from Marvello. He's playing really solid, too. Um, definitely not trying to get caught. Beautiful block on the goal first. Actually able to punish it, too. Very mm -hmm. rare are you able to do that. So that was really good. Just close enough to make it happen. Good grab here from... Ooh, interesting blue RC there to keep the pressure up. Good just block right now from Hotashi as well. Ooh, this beautiful defense. defense from Hotashi. And you know what's interesting too? We are just seeing in action the system change where it's actually rewarding defense with some of those uh, tension games. And this is gorgeous, capitalizing off of Marvello's uh, mistake in the DP. Yeah, any kind of change that favors defense is going to help a player like Hotashi who is so patient and able to stick it out until that right moment. Oh, there goes the counter yeah, hit off of the anti-in. And right this into is the definitely going to hit. I think because this is chip, this might kill. Uh, I, you might not even need the wall. No, it's not skilled. Quite, not it's quite. Skilled. There, goes there the it is. <laughs> that, that, you know, that sounds about right. Second perfect two of the night mm -hmm. as well. Very solid game play from Hotashi Marvello. Probably gonna have to make some adjustments here. Absolutely, gonna have to see what changes to his game because he's playing so solid. Like it's, it's not that, but there's just these little decisions that Hotashi is able to capitalize on. It is one of those things too where it, you look at on paper between Chip and, and Nago, right? They're two characters that like, Nago's hitting like a truck Mm -hmm. twice as much than, than a usual character, because it is Chip. And then you have a character like Chip where, yes, you can open up, but you're also not dealing the same amount of damage. And you have to be very conscious of that, especially when we start seeing how it, you have to open up your player. Mm -hmm. You have to open up your opponent. You have to be able to uh, capitalize off of everything. And if you don't have the meter to do so, or if you don't have the setup to do so, it's going to get a little stressful. It's going to get tense. And, we're seeing the pressure on Marvello, very much so, but there's still plenty of time to see. Absolutely, he can make not out of it yet. Good nice back dash to keep the pressure going from Marvello. There goes the delay off from the low. URC to stop the 2S from happening. Ooh, doesn't get the full combo though. A little bit of the spacing game right now. I like too that Hotashi's just uh, doing the just blocking and then responding back with the poke. Understands that Marvello still has burst and can definitely use it here. But not going to be able to as that is going to be full damage. All right, that means Hotashi is on match point right now. Yes, indeed. Marvello going to try and make something happen here. Nice blocking. Finally gets a hit, but Hotashi bursts right out of it. Walking a little bit back and forth right now. The Red RC for some extra damage in the corner carry for Marvello. Ooh, very nice, nice grab. Oh. I'm going to be able to break the wall, too. And again, this is what we were talking about, the capitalization off of the movement. Here goes a throw there from Hotashi. Blue RC, blue RC again Double from Marvello. into the burst. Oh, what a beautiful call out with the 5P from Hotashi. Oh, this is great pick up from... No! Not going to be able to continue it. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. The butt <gasps> There he this goes. This is your chance, Marvello. Into the throw. Gets it. Marvello nice. still alive. Hotashi going to be able to break the wall here. It just doesn't do 50% at least. Well, it, it kind of does. It's very close to 50. <laughs> Hashtag just Nago things. But at least it's not as like that, that bad in compared to some <laughs> of the other stuff that I've seen today. Oh, man. Okay, Blue RC and actually poking a little bit to stop Marvello from pressing the button. Blue RC again. There goes the 2K. 
seeing a lot of those blue RC responses from Marvello. And this is a great way to corner carry, too. Very nicely done. Oh no, the Big burst damage. block! Baits the burst oh. into another fully charged dust. No, Marvello not taking to the count that Potashi had the meter for it. But what an amazing run from Marvello. I believe that puts Marvello at fourth, if I'm not mistaken. I think you're correct on that. Where Hotashi will be going out ahead and facing off against Umi Show. Wow. Great performance from both players there. And Marvello was able to make some really smart adjustments to his game plan. Nah, I definitely uh, agree with you there. It's, uh, it's just, you know. It's just so hard. It's just very, it's like, very difficult. And that not, matchup is there's, there's only so many things you can do, right? Absolutely. We're not talking about like a character with high guts or a character with big damage. You know, mm -hmm. those are the two things that, quite honestly, when you're fighting against a character that is in the meta, uh, like Nago is, it's very hard. It's not easy. It's not something that to be taken lightly. And honestly, Marvella did an amazing job uh, with At all 100%. of the, his runs today. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and I, it's one of those things too that those slight mistakes, those slight happenings do mm -hmm. like they're it's just gonna happen they really add up especially like you were saying with a character like nago